Hey everyone, we're back. I have this 13 foot Boston Whaler, last registered in 2001. Uh, it's a government owned boat. From the serial number, it looks to be a 1972 or a 1973. Oil injected, 40 horse Mariner outboard, side console. It's obviously been rebuilt at some point. Uh, the boat's pretty rough. Uh, a lot of fiberglass damage around the boat. Probably the worst right there. Various other spots. Steel bolts on the transom. It's pretty beat up here as well. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. You guys know the drill at this point. Let's get the hood off and see what we're working with. like that noise. It's free but it's tight. Other than that it looks okay. Uh, it stayed really nice inside here. Uh, Mitsubishi ignition system. Uh, the choke is free on the carburetors. Carburetors are free. Electric choke solenoid. Um, okay let's get the spark plugs out. We'll lube it up and uh, test the ignition system. They're loose. It's really not too bad. I mean, there's oil on there, but two-stroke motor. It's about the same. Too bad. Hey, watch your eyes. Anything spit out at you? Okay. Well, let's stick a plug back in and uh, see you got for ignition. All right, well, like always, uh, the positive terminal is uh, broke off, so Let's get a new one on there and then we can use the battery to see if the starter works and uh, spin the engine over that way. Okay, so we have a new temporary lug on the positive terminal. Got a good battery out of another boat, so let's see what works and what doesn't. Oh, have choke. Let's see if it cranks. Oh yeah. Nice. Okay, let's put the plugs back in and check for spark. Okay, we do have spark, so uh, we can put the plugs back in and we'll tear into the carburetor side. Uh, first, I want to show you guys the fuel filter. See what kind of treats we have in here. It's probably had um, ethanol pump gas in it. No, it's really not. It's really not bad. 
a little bit of green in there. It's not bad, and it might just be, you know, a little bit of ethanol and two stroke oil. So, all right, let's carry on. To tell these have been off before, someone's just used a little bit of silicone to seal the carburetor up to the intake manifold. All right, it's about to rain. Let's pack up and get back to the shop. Hey guys, we're at the lab now. I uh, hope you can see all right, but we got the two carburetors here. Uh, we're gonna take them apart, clean them up. This is the upper carburetor, and uh, on the inside, actually it looks really clean, but I'm sure the jets are probably plugged. The two-stroke fuel um, like kind of solidifies and gums everything up. So, um, so you guys come along with me, get this taken apart and cleaned up. Yeah, you see what I mean? That's just all solidified two-stroke oil and gas. Um, the good thing is, it doesn't look like they used uh, pump gas. There's no signs of water or ethanol sitting in here. Uh, the seal looks okay. It's kind of flat. Probably really old, but should be alright. Okay, so everything's cleaned up and uh, we can start putting it back together now. So this is the lower carb here, it's not on the bottom. Uh, usually in these two stroke engines with mixed gas, the oil, the accumulated solid oil, uh, ends, ends up down in the bottom. So I, I expect this carb is going to be considerably worse. And if you look closely, it's a dead mosquito right there. Nice. So that's that solidified two-stroke oil. It's not that much worse. It did uh, get on the float and the bottom of the two jets, but there's actually solidified like dead mosquitoes covered in two-stroke oil all over this. Neat.
Yeah, I don't know how well you guys can see, but this carburetor is covered in dead mosquitoes. Uh, it's covered at least six dead mosquitoes on this lower carb. Crazy. I apologize for the wind and the other noise today. I made some new paper gaskets. Uh, we have the carburetors, so let's get them back on and keep going. We got the rabbit ears, everything's put back together, coming right out of the tank. Um, I checked the reed valves on the intake, they're good. What do you guys think? Is it going to fire up as easy as uh, the last one did? We'll find out. Not too bad, not bad at all. Doesn't look like the water pump's working, so I'll blow out the uh, water uh, cooling jacket and see if that helps out and we'll try it again.
full start it. Holy Christ. One more time. This one turned out really well. If anyone's still watching, I want to say thank you so much. I really appreciate the views and the comments. I'll see you on the next one. Till then, bye. Yeah, these are pretty cool boats. Pro Drive X Series. Really neat. Console operated uh, surface drive motor. This one's a Kohler, probably a 20 some horse. This is a nice boat. Four stroke. It's locked up, but uh, I think between the two of them, should be able to make something out of it. This one's even got keys, look at that. So, oof. Yeah, they're both locked up, but. I don't know. See what we can do with them. Stay tuned.